Hey, this is Max. Welcome back to another CSR2 video. I'm going to give you my quick take on the newest event on the map, and that is uh, the Hill Climb event to win the Ford Superman 4. This is a typical 60 race event for winning a prize car, so expect that the last few races, particularly here, here, and here, will be relatively difficult from a time perspective uh, and challenge standpoint for the individual cars that have to lock in there most likely at least one of these will be locked in number four so expect that you do have to build a nissan up to a certain point speaking of the lock-ins two nissans two fords lb silhouette sylvia for one lock-in the second lock-in is a ford gt uh 2005 gt and the third lock-in is a ford gt40 but that's the 2019 gt uh, not called a GT40 anymore, just a Ford GT. Now, among these, what I want to tell you is that if you're still working on another event, and that's the Ford Heritage Cup, your best bet for getting through the Heritage Cup easily, and not and it's not an easy event, um, and you shouldn't finish it, but we'll talk about that a separate uh, for for the reason separately. You should get this 2017 GT Heritage Edition. This is the easiest to actually get through the challenges on the Ford Heritage uh, event. You shouldn't finish the Heritage event because it'll allow you to forever get um, fusions from Ford, which I've collected a lot. And now I have to build two Fords for another Ford, so those fusions will come in handy. The Nissan uh, GTR 50 is a milestone car. Many of us have it. Now I have to build it. Again, lots of Nissan Fusions, lots of Ford Fusions. The good news, again, is for both Nissan and Ford, if you need additional Fusions and you have cash on hand, you could go buy the Tier 1 Ford, Tier 3 Ford to get Ford Fusions, buying and stripping them. And the Nissan, you can get the Tier 4 GTR, buying and strip it for Fusions as well. So overall, shouldn't be too bad when it comes to Fusions. Uh, stage 6s for the Nissan might be the only thing I'll be burning a few bronze keys on. But again, it depends on how difficult the event is. Overall, this is one of those kind of in-between event events that Natural Motion tend to throw at us to burn up a little bit of our fusions and money so that we can get a nice prize car to compensate for the lost cash in fusions. The Ford, Mini, uh, uh, the Ford Supervan is likely a Ford minivan, that's what it looks like. But Ford Supervan is likely to be a decent low performance point high Evo car being an electric and they have a certain uh, pattern of being nice low performance point high Evo cars, but not all of them. So take that with a grain of salt. And finally, the launch is gonna be sensitive because all electric cars have to be launched just right to get the best times. Is it likely to be a good car? Probably. Um, so we'll see once the event goes live and I acquire this car. In the meantime, I'm going to build the Nissan up and get ready for the event. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Uh, if you have any uh, additional information to share, feel free to let everybody know about that in the comments. If you like the video, leave a like. If you like my channel and would like notifications when I put up these videos, subscribe, hit the bell, and you'll get those notifications. And as always, thank you for watching my videos. I'll catch you next time.